Hi guys, welcome to this week's weekly vlog. It's the afternoon now. I've had a very rushed and stressful morning and I'm very overexposed, a bit better. I'm just literally about to run out of the house again, jump into a car because I'm going to the British Fashion Awards tonight, which I'm incredibly excited about with Zalando. And we are like getting hair and makeup done and everything. Hence me looking like this right now. So I'm just about to go to the hotel where that's happening. Outfits are there, like I picked out outfits online. They're waiting there. I'm going through everything in my head now, like what else do I need to take? I've got my cameras, got my phone, purse, keys I'll have. Okay, let's go. I've had a, a stressful day so far. I made it to the Royal Albert Hall, which is where it is. I'm wearing a pink suit and very much enjoying it. of the year, the Fashion Awards. It's my favorite night of the year though, ladies and gentlemen, because, you know, I'm not gonna lie to you, I host a lot of these award shows for a lot of different industries, whether it be footballers, or bankers, people that have come from a different cloth to me. Well, not tonight. Tonight, I get to celebrate my kind of people. Fierce and talented women, and men who, like me, did art and drama at school. Packed for Paris two giant suitcases for three nights not two giant this one's tiny it's because i've got like lots of stuff to shoot so i need the things in it and it's all winter coats well not all but i have four coats in here and another one that i'm wearing <laughs> so obviously it takes a lot of space this oh my god that weighs a ton i'm gonna get that downstairs Whew. Literally about to set off to send Pancras now. Really looking forward to it. Last night was a really, really, really oh, so blue one. So there we go. Last night was a very, very, very lovely evening. I really enjoyed it. It was really interesting watching all the awards and the speeches and things like that. Rita Ora performed. It was very lovely. So thank you very much to Zalando for taking me there. And uh, as I said, I'm just about to I'm have a wee, too much information. Then order my Uber to go to St Pancras with this massive case. Honestly, like I would love to just be travelling with a really small case because I'm stressed about getting that down the flipping stairs, which is ridiculous. We've made it to Paris. Bonsoir. Bonsoir. Dean says that he can speak French, but he can't. Mm. One thing he can do is a magic trick, which he's shown me earlier. Would you do it on camera or not? Um, yeah. Oh, okay. Not now, but later. Not now, I will do. Okay. I'm really excited to share that with everybody. Let's do some photos in this corner up here. I like the lights. I like the lights. <laughs> it's not like 30, is it? It's not like 30. Oh no. Oh, I'm on English time. No, it is 5.30. No, I'm on English time. No, it's 5.30. Yeah, but I'm on English time. No, but... Cod. And you've got God. scallops. God. God. I got God. Good morning, guys. We're just having breakfast doing a bit of work, today's busy shooting day because it's the best day of weather, so we've got lots to shoot today, we're starting off here and then we're going to venture out, it's been super fast, I can always come back and get changed here, just think about this thing, so yes, dinner last night was amazing, so, so, so tasty there, much better than the first time I ever ate there as well, which was really good, um, and I'm going to try my best to vlog throughout the day, we're going to film in the video which has a vloggy bit, so sometimes it's not the easiest thing to do. Because it's so complicated to vlog and film that video and do Instagram so stuff. Vlog. I'm vlogging now, different. We've just been filming and I haven't been doing a good job of vlogging because I'm doing this. I'm spot other... free this week. <laughs> I'm not though, unfortunately. Um, yeah, I've not been good at vlogging because I'm trying to do the video and do this and there's too much to think about. But today is our last day of filming and shooting and working. Yeah? Saba. Do you want to tell everybody what happened last night? No. 
We had a McDonald's when we were in Paris. Dean's so ashamed. Le, le McDonald's. Le McDonald's. Le Big Royal Mac with cheese. cheese. Royal cheese. Yeah, we went and had a McDonald's and we're not proud of it. I've had four showers and I still feel dirty. <laughs> Just stopped to get a coffee in this really gorgeous little shop. And they have the most amazing like, mugs and teapots and things. It's very like hay ish. Look at those bowls. So, so nice. Wait for our coffee. So we're doing this video, these vlogbook videos, and they're so good to do. But it's like because we're shooting the stuff, it's really hard to make sure we're doing enough stuff to fill the video while also trying to shoot other stuff at the same time. It's a problem I'm having today. Hair looks good there. Now do it. We've just been for dinner and Dean's taking the piss of our pose for a photo. <laughs> Had a very nice French dinner. Now we're going for another Fish drink. and chips. <laughs> Fish and chips. Oh god. Shoals have barged me there. And we're going to go for a drink in this exact spot on this corner. We're going to have a lovely French drink. Cool. Cider and black. <laughs> <laughs> I've been making Dean try Lafroig, which is a really famous type of whiskey. And it's a, 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 a very intense. It's a peat tasting whiskey. So. I made him try a shot of it because you have to experience it once. It's awful, but you have to experience it once. And this is the little spot that we're in. It's very lovely. Good morning, guys. I'm back home now. I didn't vlog at all yesterday because I really wasn't very well all day. Woke up in Paris and literally went for breakfast just at the Hoxton. Um, and Dean was like, Are you alright? Because you've sort of turned grey. And I had to go back to bed, got back here, and just didn't feel well all day just like really nauseous all day long today i woke up i feel absolutely fine thank god so and i'm in a vlogging mood which is good so i'm going to definitely make up for today but you literally missed nothing other than me being ill yesterday um first things first i'm going to the gym this morning I'm desperate to do some exercise and then we're gonna have a day around the house over this weekend there's two things i need to do one is finish up some christmas shopping get wrapping paper and things like that start wrapping two is get on top of work and go through everything we shot in paris and I've just started getting some of the film photos through, which I dropped off yesterday. I dropped off eight rolls, and these are all Dean's photos from... Where the heck is this? Workout done. I've got my smoothie shake thing, which I always like to treat myself to afterwards. It's a freezing day, but a beautiful day. Now, because I love a glam and exciting ride, she nearly hit the decks, that girl then. <laughs> it's not all nice to laugh at things like that, but I laugh if it happens to me. Um, going to go to Tesco Wildlife and get some bits and bobs in, some flowers. I'm not putting flowers in at the moment, and it doesn't make me feel happy. <laughs> Back home now, guys. Did my food shopping. Um, oh, I think I've said this before that I never really get very much. One thing I did get as a true essential was some Tesco's finest mince pies. Healthy, etc, etc. Very excited to try those out. We'll let you know how it is. And just now, we're going to unpack this shopping um, and then have a bath, actually. It's so cold. Myself up with a bit of a bath and then crack on with some work. We've just been looking through all the film from Paris, it's turned out really well. So I'm going to crack on with that. Make myself a coffee as well. When does this go off? When does this go off? Oh, that's gone off. That has happened. Say goodbye to that coconut milk. I've got a new one there. It's okay. Um, and yeah, then do some work. I'm doing, just going through the washing and stuff and everything in Paris and I'm going home for Christmas a week on Monday so I'm sort of trying to unpack while I keep to one side the stuff I'm going to want to take home I'm basically trying to be organised and probably mostly going to fail um, so yes that's what's happening now I've got some more lilies
be going. I'm so excited to go home for Christmas. Definitely ready to have some chill time. Although Paris, we shot a lot, like we worked a lot, but it wasn't like a stressful, oh, this is not one hand job opening milk there we go it wasn't like a stressful time away or anything like that so that's good um i've just got to get on top of my content now and i'm like finishing off any admin -y, admin y boring bits let's go with this mug for the end of the year that's loud sorry hi guys i'm all clean i've done the washing i'm still looking like scruff as you can see, it's actually too hot in here at the moment. Turn the heating down. Um, I'm just going through these Paris photos, things like that. So I just want to show you something that I got sent um, shamefully a few weeks ago now. Oh, it's heavy, and I've forgotten to tell you guys about it. And it's something that I don't really generally like, this kind of a thing. But this one is good. And I know people do like them, so I thought I'd mention it in case with Christmas coming up. Might be a helpful gift idea. So it's a, one of those online gifting services. It's called Parcel, this one. Similar to how um, Birchbox do the beauty ones. It's something like that. And it comes in a really nice box. Now, as I said, generally, like, if stuff like this get in touch with me and say, would you want one? I'm like, I don't think I'm really going to provide you any coverage for it because this isn't really my kind of a thing. But this one has some really nice stuff in it. Like, I opened it and thought, if I actually got this as a gift, I'd be cool with it. Um, cool with it sounded really ungrateful, but, like, I would be really happy with it, basically. So this one has in it some bee pollen and mango chocolate. Bee pollen and mango chocolate. I didn't have to try that to know what that's like. And then a candle. Now, this, I was, I've never seen these candles before. I'm going to butcher saying this. Lauren Perrier the champagne and it genuinely smells really 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 nice like if i saw this in a shelf in a shop i'd never in a million years pick it up and smell it i would assume that i'd hate it but it's actually really nice um and then a clay mask by guy morgan apocryphy and look like it's just really cool like the packaging of this is really nice i'm just i haven't tried it yet so i'm not saying that the product is good i haven't tried it but it's just really nicely packaged and stuff that's in it um, a lot of these squiggly things. What's this? Super Charged Serum by, what's the brand here? Bye Bye, B-Y-B-I. So, ooh, again, really nice packaging on the stuff. Doesn't mean the product's actually gonna be any good, but we all like stuff that looks nice. I will try all of this out as well. And there's one more thing in here. Oh, this, I like stuff like this. Um, a thing of matches that says, keep a little fire burning, however small, however hidden. Isn't that sweet? I just thought it was one worth mentioning in Christmas coming up, in case you guys were struggling for gifts. I know I am. Um, so yes, this is going to be the recycling bin. Um, I'm just going to carry on getting on with stuff, make myself look presentable in a little bit. I'm going to meet Lindsay at Euston Station at six-ish and then we're going to Catherine's we're having a girly sleepover tonight which I'm so excited about this has been a very enjoyable Saturday thus far and um, one thing I was doing for my blog post from Paris is using postcards so I wanted to do a, 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 blog, a blog post called postcards from Paris and like put these alongside them and actually write the post on the back of the postcard so I've been working on that today as well and eating, I had one of those mince pies and forgot to film it, so I'm gonna have a, this is an excuse to have another one in a little bit with a cup of tea so I can tell you what I think of the Tesco one. Okay guys, I'm still makeup free, but I promise I'm about to get ready. I'm just gonna have my second mince pie of the day. So obviously I already have formed an opinion on these. Now, I need to bite into it to demonstrate. What I would say is that the shortbread pastry is very, very lovely indeed. Let me just get a bite into this. Mm. The issue with them is they could have been a bit more shallow because mm, there's quite a lot of space above the filling. So it kind of collapses as you eat it. Um, I don't like ones which have like an insane amount of filling in. 
it's all about that ratio so i think if anything it just needed to be a little bit shorter in height so you felt like you were eating something a little bit more well filled that's my stance on them would have again we'll eat them all like none, none of them are bad enough to not eat them obviously so it's pie I just started that the second you went that makes me sound like a right twat. Sorry, this is uh, Catherine Hayden's beautiful gaff with the fire on and they've made a really measly push. Must you do that now? Just going on saying that I've survived last time. I'm still like the rudest thing that's ever happened. She's not even stopping. Don't give a shit. She literally doesn't give a shit. Right, like, as I was saying, Linda, <laughs> who's very hungover. <laughs> look, everyone, it's me. Look at what I look like. <laughs> Hayde's here, Mental. serving up. And they've got a Christmas tree. Oh, I liked that, Hayde. It was lovely. Anyway, this is us tonight. Hi, guys. It's Sunday and it's snowing in Notting Hill. Just going for a walk. I just went for a walk to see Notting Hill and Snow Snow and soaked and a hat on which is just one bottle in my house, so I'm drenched. Just use this bit of blow in here, it's because you balance on the bag. So for testing mince pies today, I've got one from Dalesford, which is the ridiculously posh deli in Notting Hill. There are some things that like I really love Notting Hill, but there are some things which are just like when I'm in there, I have such a knobhead for getting on board with this. Like, I just bought a coffee and a single mince pie for £7. And it's like the gym where I do my classes, Bodyism, which is next to Dalesford. Every day I'm like, yes, I will have that £9 smoothie. It's just so ridiculously expensive. And Dalesford is like the ultimate of that. But I'm just going to see if I can FaceTime Mum while we do this. Because it was her suggestion to get one from Dalesford. So I'm always going to try first time more. Lots of people are going to get involved in this. This might not work. Or she might not answer. She's not going to answer. I didn't really know why mother doesn't have these phone calls. Properly snowing outside, but not sticking at all. But other parts are coming in. Daytime and real world. No, 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 no. Anyway, I simply cannot wait. Oh, she's back, she's back. Hello? Hi. Yes, fine. Just a quick one. I'm just vlogging here. And I wanted to, because I bought a Dalesford mince pie to test. Yeah. Have you yeah. got children in your house? Uh, Sarah here. Oh, sorry, I forgot. I thought I would FaceTime you to try it so that you could see it too, because you suggested to get it. But if Sarah and Helen are there, it's not a good time to watch me eat a mince pie. Oh, say hello. Yeah, oh, uh, is it okay? <laughs> Hi! <laughs> it's snowing here in London. Wait, let me show. Is it? Bye, bye, bye. Oh, so that did not go to plan because she was with my cousins. So, we'll have to do that without her, and I'll review later. So, as I said, this cost me an arm and a leg. I'm not sure what the split was between mince pie versus coffee, but you could definitely probably get a full pack in Aldi for the price of one of these. Initial thoughts, it's just with ice and sugar, um, and it seems like quite a dense pastry. Let's try. Mm -mm. Oh, my God. Oh, that's good. Oh. Mm. oh, look, it's got so much filling in it, and the pace is amazing. Oh, I didn't want to like it. I wanted to really not think it was worth anything and not have to go in every day and get one now. Mmm. 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 Yeah. It's amazing.
may not Hey, the map of your palms, the tempo you be, you're all that you got Hey, the bad days may come, the lover may leave, the winter may not Hey, the map of your palms, the tempo you be, you're all that you got Though I walk through the darkest valley, I will feel no love Oh, my smile, my mind reassure me very Hoxton heavy I promise it's not sponsored just been very kindly put up by them a lot this week so obviously stay there in Paris and then tonight is a Christmas sleepover that they're hosting with some gals and we've all got pajamas from Yoke I'll show you mine in the mirror in a second I just put jump on because I'm really cold um and we are yeah having watching a Christmas film sleeping here tonight and just generally having like a girly night in in the hotel so I'm like not in a house but it should be very 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 lovely I mean, let me show you these PJs the rooms in the um Holborn both of them both there's two in London Shoreditch and Holborn I prefer the rooms in the Holborn one it's really they're always really nice but they're all got the same cool look to them so show my part pajamas so these are from Yoke oh, sorry about this jumper no that doesn't really help you to see it does it but they're really fancy pyjamas, especially for someone who mostly spends their nights just in some like scraggy t-shirt with toothpaste down the front. This is very glam for me. And the evening itself is hosted by Missima, who left a lovely little festive garland, should we call it, on the bed and a lovely little note as well. So it's gonna be a nice evening. This is our very festive room. So we're gonna watch a film. How cute is this? I just realised that I forgot to sign the vlog off. I've just been editing it now. It's actually Tuesday now, so I really forgot by the whole day in between. Um, so thank you very much for watching this week's weekly vlog. I hope you have enjoyed it. Nothing else to add. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>